What if scrapped episode that was Children of Men with Spider-Man? Children of Spider-Man. Chatting with IGN, head writer slash showrunner AC. Bradley spoke to some of the creative team's ideas that didn't make the cut. She acknowledged that since all of the episodes were created during the peak years of the COVID-19 pandemic, many of the stories took on a more grim tone, something she ultimately had to cut back. It felt like the world was already ending and we didn't need to add to it, Bradley said. And so it became kind of an escape and a fun release. However, I did write an episode, which is forever going in a drawer, that was very, very dark. I was calling it Children of Men with Spider-Man. No further details were provided, but just the elevator pitch alone makes it sound like it would have been too heavy of a narrative for a generally upbeat franchise like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Children of Men is a 2006 film that tells the story of a dystopian world where infertility is threatening the survival of the human race. The narrative follows a disillusioned bureaucrat who is forced on a deadly, high-stakes quest when he's enlisted to protect the only remaining pregnant woman on the planet. Directed by Alfonso Cuarón, it's widely regarded as a masterpiece of sci-fi storytelling. While what if? may have shied away from the nightmare of children of men, it's already presented audiences with a world-ending version. Season 1 featured an episode where the majority of the MCU's heroes turn into zombies, forcing the survivors to take up arms against their former comrades and look for a cure. This is just one of the show's reinterpretations of the franchise, with episodes typically looking to turn established characters and tropes on their heads. Seasons 1 and 2 are now streaming on Disney+. Plus. Scar is refreshingly straightforward. As a 6-cost, 11-power card, he's a point shy of the Hulk, his father in the Marvel comics and movies. However, it's his ability that makes him an intriguing season pass card, costs 2 less for each of your cards that has 10 or more power. These cards have to be in play and have to have 10 or more power at the moment you wish to play Scar. A Devil Dinosaur at 9 power won't discount him, but a Dark Hawk at 12 power will. With two 10 power cards on the board, say, a She-Hulk and a Sentry, Scar will cost only 2 power with no drawback, which is a great amount of stats.